Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Let's go. Weapons free, weapons free. Oh shit, we've been spotted. Secure. We'll send the location of the radio gear to the rebels. No man. The convoy is secure. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri y El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca is going to send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, Gatari. We'll get it done. This is Nomad. We're on the ground in Okoro. What have you got for us? Okoro is the heart of cocaine production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emisario. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre, and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job, but the guy's something of a charmer. And he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as the Coro continues to produce. The fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emisario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yayo. Getting an upload from Bowman. 
Looks like she's got some intel on El Amisario. You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel, and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson, Gonzalo Yana, a.k.a. El Emisario, the Emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows. How to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud. Which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, he'll give us everything we need to know about dear old grandpa. Well, I'm not after them right now. Takatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to counter his support in the future. Get down before they see you. Good to go. Familiarize yourselves with Bowman's briefing on Santa Blanca's coke production pipeline. People at the top are El Yayo and La Gringa. Yayo's Bolivian, an ex cocalero turned cocaine producer. Gringa seems to be a disgraced chemist. She used to work for an NGO here in Bolivia before joining up with the cartel. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never, in all that time, did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live.
Drone is up. Moving to position. I got eyes on a mounted weapon. I need a better position. Eyes on the target. Ready to fire. Tango down. This is the garage. Sound off at the spot Polito's car. Roger that. Got some hostile activity. I got one narco near that stack of tires. to position. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. I've got the target. Here's target number five. Enemy down. Another, that's five. I'm getting a position. Target marked. I need to get to a better position. Ready to engage. Target is down. Getting a position. We find a good position. Target marked. Say the word, boss. That tank goes down. Get ready. Fire. Uh. Hell. Man down, yo, man down. 
Man down. No targets present. I got you, man. Just hold on. That car's got an alarm. Clear on my side. Eyes on Polito's car. Bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand an arco thing. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusty times you were driving around before. You totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street, so what's the point? Air conditioning. Take this back. Engaging hostiles. No, in the wrong spot. The lieutenant's trying to escape. How about that? I'm supposed to take this damn car to. We've got a location on El Polito's personal car. Steal it, so our techs can analyze the car's GPS for intel. They'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out.
Sakatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to counter his support in the future. I'll drive. I'm in. Let's go. Going the wrong way. Persuade, change, and influence, huh? No leads on Perico's 20? We're still looking, but we don't even know what he looks like. Forge for intel. Find him, use him. I'll let you know if we can narrow down the location of the radio station. This 
province is part of the cartel's influence operation. A propaganda machine. We should familiarize ourselves with their M.O. The man at the top is El Cardinal, an excommunicated priest turned Santamuerta to proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. He used to be a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. All priests like to hear themselves talk, don't they? But as the saying goes, talk is cheap. El Cardenal knew this was true. His people were barely surviving, and he wanted to do something. He had to help those in need. He didn't care where the support came from. But there were others who thought he was making deals with the devil. He was cast out. He lost his family, his friends. Lo perdió todo. When I found him, he was a broken man. I brought him into Santa Blanca to preach the truth of the new faith. For we are wed to death from the moment we are born. And we must come to love her more than we love our lives. Sacred and blessed death, the goddess of darkness can free you from sickness and evil. Do you offer your heart and soul over to her? He baptized me in the true faith. He is my counselor, my conscience. I do. The only person I truly trust with my soul. of a cartel metal they're planning on giving us some Billy Badass. I'll be picking up two bits. I mean, I, I like the can you tell what I'm working on. Takatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to counter his support in the future. I'll fly. Good to go. activity nearby. Yeah. I got a narco over here, the bridge.
Boeing drone. This has details of the cartel supply chopper, loaded and ready to roll. Sounds like something that would really lend the rebels a hand. Tell me where. Qatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to counter his support in the future. Getting a position. To spot one with some machine guns. Target acquired. It's standing by. Ready to engage. Target is down. I got a narco over here. Close to the camp entrance. Shit. Peace.
found in the dress for a rebel radio station SB took off the air. Let's get that thing back online. Pakatari's got some brass ones, I'll give him that. Give that fucker an engine will take a mile. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. Rally up, people. Copy that. I just like going here because it makes it a whole lot better. Dig in. The cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. Fucking you, Dad. Just as bad as the cartel. Watch your fire. We don't want to hit any civilians.
down, gentlemen. We're not trying to scare anybody. Keep here. the guns down, fellas. We don't want to scare them all off. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy that. I need you to know that things in Bolivia Heads up, are not as bad as they seem under the heel of the cartel. Opening fire on these open hornet's nest. We can take back our land. That's one down. Take back our freedoms. Take back our Bolivia. All we need to do is stand up against Santa Blanca and the drugs. Violence. And our blasphemous religion. Then... Got one. The emitter's going to shit. Rebels are going to give Santa Blanca hell after this. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. I I may have someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Kulta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hid him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. Fuck. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Kulta now. Alright, I think we'll, we'll be there for a while, I think we'll call it right here. Alright, later.